How has your release of Branching Out gone down with fans so far? So it has been really great. Um, people are really enjoying it. Um, each person has a different favorite song. So this is very cool. Um, this is like so important to me since it's my first solo album and I did everything. I was responsible for all the steps of the album uh, from the artwork to the mix and mastering. Yeah, oh, awesome. And so how much does it mean to you that fans help helped you towards paying for this production through crowdfunding it means a lot to me it's yeah. so amazing when you have people um believe in you believe in your music and knowing that my music is making a difference to them so this is so good to have my fans in in my work in my music and this is something that we have been doing since 2013 yes with Catharsis yeah. for, for Lyria and my band and then I did another car planning campaign where I'm and now my first album. So it's, it's really cool. Oh, awesome. and, and so, so you mentioned as well, like, um, so what what I can see with the community, obviously, with um, getting behind you as well. But I, I think in a sense, you, you almost give that back with your positive vibes. You always got a smile on your face as well. And I think that's what personally i think that's why it, it was so successful in my in my opinion mm -hmm. and i think that's something that will definitely that definitely portrays in the album as well so it's um <clears throat> yeah so it's, it's it's amazing to see what fans will do for their artists and in return you've obviously given them something special thank you i try always to to put some you know some magic in people's lives i think this is very important uh, with Lyra, yeah. I talk a lot about mental health too, so it's something yeah. that I really want to bring to people. No, exactly. And um, so before your solo project, you had a uh, metal symphonic band called Lyria, which you briefly mentioned just then. How are you? Um, how how are you sort of like working with the solo project? Uh, with the band, like how does it work together? Like, I know, uh, I believe Rod Wolf is working with worked alongside with the album. But do you yes. have any more inspirations? Does the band help you as well? For helped you on your solo project? So now I have projects that I really love, Lyra and my solo project. Um, it's different when you play with the band and with your solo project. And yes, Rod is with me in this solo project, so it's so so cool to have him. I also had Thiago Mateo with me on a concert, so he played the drums. And it's nice to have two different projects, but. They are also different, but they are look like, you know. Yeah. Um, and you, you, you mentioned about a uh, concert just then. And and I know, um, which again, I, I, I did mention about thank you for playing for Original Rock uh, charity gig um, a couple of years ago during the pandemic. And I, I was just thinking, is this something, is, is, do you find it different playing in front of a crowd on your own, kind of, as a solo project? Like, uh, rather than, because a lot of it was just, pandemic zoom uh recordings uh live recordings and all that so is it was it good to finally get out in front of a crowd it's different and something funny that we had made a lot of online concerts have done a lot of online concerts since 2015 or 16 i think yeah and during the pandemic we haven't done <laughs> because we couldn't be together so yeah. it's so That's strange right. but now we have to come back uh, my life is a mess now because we are doing renovations at home. So oh. we are building a studio. So I'm waiting for this, you know, do more online concerts again. And yes, it's different when you have a crowd. But I like to do both. It's nice to to do the online concerts too because we have people from different parts of the world uh, interacting with us and chatting. So it's it's really cool. But yeah. having a crowd is very different. Yeah, no, but I like both. So if if you're a new fan, uh, checking out your uh, music, so your solo career, but um, potentially, uh, uh, sorry, uh, so with Lyria, how how would you describe new fans to your to your music? Like, is there is there something that um unique to you that you would say, uh, as a band that you could sort of like describe to to fans that would potentially want to discover your band? How would I describe Lyria? Yeah. Oh man, this is. <laughs> um, we are a heavy metal band, a symphonic heavy metal band, and we talk a lot about mental health. I write about uh, stuff that I live, something that was remarkable for me in some way. 
And I try to help people through our music. So all our songs are about overcoming, about um, uh, mental health. And this is something that I really wanted to do since the beginning of Lyria in 2012. Yeah. And I hope I hope it happens. It it, um, it helps some people. So no, this course. is what Lyria does. <laughs> and um and even though most of your tracks uh just going back to your solo career, even though most of your tracks mm -hmm. are branching out of covers, uh you released four new original songs. Can you tell us what inspired you to write these? Yeah, so Virgin Elf has four original songs, but during the yeah. pandemic, I wrote more than 20, <laughs> 20 songs. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I just chose four to be in this album. But yeah. one of them is Fall of Light. I wrote for, for my mother, uh, my grandmother that oh. has passed away. And yeah. um, Sea of Dreams is a song that invites people to go to a place that magic happens and you can be yourself. Join Me is the first song of the album. It opens the album and it's an yeah. invite and to join me on a journey, a journey of magic. Um, yeah. And we have Home. That's a song that talks about uh, the feeling of being home. That's not just a house or something like that, but home yeah. is where your heart is. So. I guess you think with home, like it's it's not where you're you're living in. It's who you're with really more than anything exactly so, uh, yeah. People, yeah that's it and um so what's uh what's the music scene like in uh particularly sort of the metal scene in brazil at the moment like do you think it's on the rise or do you believe uh is lyria something that can potentially uh sort of give that sort of name of brazil of, of the metal scene and is that is that something you want to sort of um basically achieve in 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 uh in your band is um yeah so what what's the like the music scene like in brazil at the moment so talking about metal specifically we have yeah. angra and sepultura they are very big bands and they are always touring um the entire world so they are very big here in brazil too but metal is not um you know, the most famous uh, kind of music here in Brazil, but we have yeah. many metal hats. And Glad the Listing, Lyria has been considered one of the biggest symphonic metal bands here. And this means a lot to me, but we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> and also, I think Trash Metal is more, you know, it's more famous among metal hats here in Brazil. But we have yeah. a lot of bands. Um, every day we have a lot of bands here. Uh, growing and this is very nice I think we have a a good crowd here that likes yeah. metal and uh do you, do you think uh so talking of like Brazil do you think you'll ever like tour in the UK or go sure. to Europe is that something you're for sure for? yes I have plans for it I have been in London some some years ago and it's so nice I love it yeah and I want to come back but to play because I haven't played That's there good. yet, but since I uh, I am now with two projects, I want to go with the project. The two projects. <laughs> yeah, Maybe I'll go first with my solo project because it's something easier. Uh, we are less people, you know. But less for sure, of, um, I'll go with Lyria too. Yeah, there'd be less sort of like instruments stuff like that as well, wouldn't there? So. Well, that's uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, by the way, you could always come to Southampton. Would be Southampton would love to see you there. So. Uh, oh, it's so originally well so from. Cool. I'm from at the moment so yeah um but one last question and um, thank you so much for uh your time today Alain. um so uh if you could work with any artist on a new song uh who would it be and why oh gosh <laughs> yeah it's quite a this bit, is yeah. hard yes because yeah. I love so many artists um <laughs> let me see um, I love Evanescence, Epica, yeah. Nightwish, but I think I would choose Dave Draymond from Stirred because he talks yeah. a lot about mental health and their songs really helped me a lot. And with Lyria, we talk about this too, so it would be, it would be so cool to, you know, record a song with them or to play with them. So yeah, yes, that's, Dave Draymond. That's awesome. All right. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I'm just uh, thank you and uh, good luck for the rest of your. Uh... Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Hope uh, to see you in the UK. Hopefully the albums will uh, just keep on being streamed and 
getting bought. So thank you. Thank you.